Get your decade ahead horoscope for your sign at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous Scorpio. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of June, 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an important sky, certainly, but it is also an elusive sky. It'll feel that way anyways, because of a very active Neptune this month. So what is gonna be taking place is that we are going to have a new moon early in the month, right around the third, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet. And then two weeks later, right around the 18th, we are going to have a full moon. Now these full moons are in different parts of the sky, but they will both as part of their own celestial phenomenon, be speaking in conversations of tension with Neptune. Now you add to this the fact that Venus is moving into the part of the sky that the new moon is gonna be in about a week into the month and also having a connection with Neptune. The sun moving through this part of the sky will be having its connection with Neptune. And all of this suggests that just when we think we know and just when we're certain, it is the universe that reminds us to stay open, to stay flexible and to cultivate faith. Now, I would also add, Neptune is particularly strong this week as well, slowing down to a standstill, and right around the 20th to 21st, will actually go retrograde. And so the closer we get to that date, the more powerful it is that Neptune will be. And that means that the confusion is that much more heightened. That means the sense of not knowing, but thinking you know, but then feeling like maybe you don't, is that much more heightened as well. And there's a real sense of power with this, but that power is in spiritual places. That power comes from faith, not necessarily from anything that we're gonna outwardly do uh, very ardently, but rather going with the flow, uh, surrender, right? These are all strengths when it comes to addressing powerful energy like Neptune. Now, each of these lunar phenomenons, the new moon and the full moon, both uh, have to do with their own unique focus. However, both have an element to them that is financial. And so I'm going to start there because for some of us out there, it is money that speaks to survival. It reaches a very basic place within us. And that's part of what can make it challenging, but that's also part of what can make it uh, thrilling. When it feels as if our money is right, uh, there is a way in which it can feel like so many other parts of life are just a little bit easier to deal with for some people. The thing to remember is though, that ultimately all of our external circumstances are there to help us to tap into deeper spiritual lessons. And if we focus on the spiritual lesson, if we focus on how it is that our spirit desires to move towards greater love and greater wisdom, if we choose to magnify that, then the outwardly lessons, they tend to calm down. And the outwardly sense of insecurity that can happen with energy like this, this month, I mean, Neptune is not secure. <laughs> if Neptune is anything, it is not secure. Um, the way that we calm the energy down is by focusing on the spiritual lesson. And by the energy down, I don't just mean our own focus, but I mean that the external world needs to be less dramatic in order to get our attention. But at the same time, when it is that there is such strong financial energy there, it means that the money we need is there as well. The money you need is there. It's just about showing up for your lessons and knowing that it will come together and it certainly will. So the first lunar activation, the new moon, that is gonna happen in a part of the sky that has to do with your relationship with financial institutions. So it has to do with accessing grants, loans, bursaries, insurance payments, uh, tax returns, benefits you may qualify for. Now with such an active Neptune, which I feel I'm gonna to say to you again and again, with such an active Neptune, but look, with such an active Neptune, it's not the time to be pursuing changes or trying to renegotiate any kind of contracts or financial agreements at this time. And if it shows up for you, of course, you will address it as swimmingly, but 
it isn't necessarily something that you should pursue, even if the temptation is there. That would go for financial agreements in terms of contracts as well. If you can, I would avoid that this month in particular. Of course, sometimes we can't avoid it. We have to trust our life and do what's in front of us to do. But if it is that you have the option, if it is that you have the choice, it would be good to be flexible and to save it. Now, when will you save it for? Late this summer, if possible. And that is because as we move late into the month, Mercury will go into shadow. Next month, Mercury is retrograde. So we are gonna be in a Mercury retrograde season for much of this summer. Certainly the early to mid part of the summer, we are in the middle of Mercury retrograde season. And what that means is that there is that much more importance. There is that much more value in focusing on what has been, in striving to uh, address what is in front of you to do, but also the thing that I think people forget with Mercury retrograde is to be grateful for what you have. Being grateful is a great way to use Mercury retrograde because it's not about taking on more, but rather it's about taking stock and realizing not only how much you have, but how far you've come as well. Okay, so not the time to renegotiate any kind of financial agreements at this time. Another layer to understanding of that new moon, well, it has to do with your own sense of regeneration, of transformation. It has to do with anywhere that you undertake a process of change and you're willing to do the work that gets you there. Sometimes that's psychoanalytic work, sometimes that's physical work, but wherever it is that you want to initiate a journey, well, your outcomes and your ends and even your motivations may not necessarily be very clear if you choose to start the journey at this new moon. However, it is a pathway towards meaningful change that can reveal itself to you. Now it is mid-month, right around the 18th with the full moon. That is also financial, but it has to do with money you earn and money you spend. It's more about uh, things like your salary that come into focus at this time, where it is that you are tapping into a greater sense of prosperity, where it is that you are in some way affirming your worth, which is another way that this energy can be used to affirm a healthy sense of self-value and self-esteem and self-respect. Wherever it is that you are wanting to make a declaration of your worthiness, well, we do have Jupiter right with this full moon, which tells me that confidence is with you, hope is with you, optimism is with you, which is great, but then Neptune is there as well, standing still in the sky, literally days, officially going retrograde within days of that full moon. And so this is energy that you're going to wanna to watch. Where are you confident and it's healthy? And where is it that you may be the one presenting an illusion? or you may be the one getting caught up in a possibility. It is possible that some financial opportunity shows up at this time as well. But again, you have to be very mindful here of uh, what it is that is actually being shown to you and where it is that you are seeing what it is that you hope rather than what is. For all that, I'm really excited about this month. I am for you because I feel like this is a month that's gonna help you to understand how well provided for you are, how abundant the universe truly is, how much it is that the universe wants you to understand that you are cared for and that you deserve to feel your absolute best, that you deserve to hold yourself in high esteem and high regard. These are some wonderful ways to use the energy this month, especially where it is that you root that confidence in spirit. Now, where it comes to matters of love, there are two things that stand out to me this month. One is that new moon, because in addition to the things I mentioned, it can also speak to uh, vulnerability and a, a deeper intimacy. And sometimes it can speak to spouse's income as well. But what we also have happening this month, of course, with Neptune, Neptune moving through a part of the sky, that has to do with flirtation and romance and what the heart truly desires. Well, all of these are going to come into focus. If you are open to meeting someone new or you've just started dating somebody, it is that Neptune that is going to be a more dominant energy. If it is that you truly are open, that Neptune can help you to believe in love enough 
to actually uh, have fun, to put yourself out there, to do the things that need to happen in order to allow love to come in. However, with Neptune doing the things that Neptune is doing this month, it is very possible that there are some mixed messages. It's very possible that there's such a strong desire to be swept away and swept up that there isn't a more measured perspective happening that actually needs to happen. Well, that tendency is there as well. I really believe that if you're making your choices consciously, you're doing what it is that you desire to do, you can't really make a wrong choice. Um, it is ultimately all about you being at peace with your choices. And that's gonna be key in terms of being open to new people. But with that Neptune, uh, remember, a lot of it can be very much illusionary as well. Not necessarily, but that is a possibility here. And the best way to ensure that it is grounded is to pace yourself, to take your time. For those of you who've just started dating someone, just getting to know someone, uh, there are a couple of things that stand out to me here. Of course, with Neptune, the desire for love is going to be very strong. With this new moon having to do with intimacy and vulnerability, I feel like with Neptune speaking to this new moon, the possibility is there that what is being presented as uh, intimacy is, is almost an illusion. And so it is the desire for a genuine, deeper connection, a desire for bonding, which is the most human desire that we can have, that can lead you to overseeing certain details that actually may be really important, uh, that can lead you to uh, tell yourself or, or to feel like there's more there that may actually not be grounded, uh, that may actually be illusionary. Now, again, it is the most human thing to want love. It is the most human thing to want to be close to another, to be known by another person and to know another. And there may be some of that energy and some of that opportunity that is there with someone that you are just getting to know. But more profound than that, um, I do feel like you may have to pace yourself a little bit to see if there's something really of substance here. But again, if you do what it is that feels right for you to do in light of your unique circumstances, you can't make a wrong choice. It is ultimately about being at peace with your choices. For those of you in an established bond, what a powerful energy it is. Now this is energy that is promising uh, a sincere desire to want to know each other more deeply. But there is, again, some need to be a little bit cautious. Yes, this can facilitate a very romantic uh, moment, a real sense of being close, but there can also be this heightened expectation of intimacy, of closeness, but the reality can't necessarily match that. And so it is important to be mindful of your own expectations. I also feel like ultimately it is about you deciding what you feel comfortable sharing. Uh, and not about feeling like you have to. This is going to be a lesson for some of you. I truly believe that whatever was before, whatever has been, whether you want to say before the relationship or before this very moment, what matters is what you bring to this moment right now, what you bring to this alliance right now. And I feel like in the desire to be closer to your partner, to show your partner that you trust them, um, there may be a sense of revealing a little bit too much that ends up leaving you with mixed feelings. So that's going to be a tendency that you are going to have to navigate here. The other part of this, of course, with spouse's income being covered here, it can feel a little bit like uh, there's a little bit of up and down or a little bit of uh, a sense of not stability where it comes to what's happening with your spouse's uh, income or their expenses as well. Again, when we have such strong financial energy, it means that the money you need is there and you will find a way to navigate this time. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's so much here, right? But I am going to say, look, we do have the first nine days of the month with Venus in your opposite sign. 
As you start this month, Venus is going to reach out and speak in supreme harmony with Pluto. This happens about twice a year and it is always a super sexy time. It is a time of truth and transformation where it comes to love. This is the energy you want to magnify. This is the energy you want to tap into. And wherever it is that you are hoping to be part of changes that help you to tap into a more beautiful sense of yourself and your life, a more prosperous sense of yourself and your life, a more loving sense of yourself and your life, it is right out of the gate that this very beautiful energy of Venus and Pluto is going to help you to do just that. It is these moments that you want to nurture, that you want to strengthen, because it can ultimately create momentum that will see you through this month with a clear connection to yourself and the beauty that you hold and what really matters. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week unlimited access to special horoscopes and more all of this in the superstar space i look forward to meeting you there it'll be a great month enjoy